you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over Series 2. So, Series 2, if you guys don't already know, is coming out, I believe, says. So, 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 so. September 19th. Now, I have the photo right here on my phone of what they pretty much released. So, they're targeting Friday, September 20th, which I believe lands on a Friday. That was dumb. That was dumb. I, that was dumb. Okay. Yeah, Friday, September 10th. I looked it up on the calendar beforehand. I was like, remember Friday for the video, and then I just read it in the title. My bad. Now, if you guys already know what series are, so pretty much madden runs in segments of series so when the game first released it was series one which usually stretches for like a month or two and then that's your level cap so pretty much the new series will increase level cap increase rewards increase players everything and so on and so forth you guys get the point so pretty much if you come over to missions and you come down to series progression we're currently in series one so series one and all these things will go out the window typically after the series although they will keep the old ones probably for people who haven't finished them yet such as Mutt Level. That has to stay because it's Mutt Level. But Series 1 multiplayer wins will go out the window. So in case you guys were wondering, you want to get a lot of these things done before it ends on Friday, September 20th. Because if you do not, you will lose a chance to get pretty great rewards given the fact that if you haven't gotten them ready, there's some decent ones to get. Now, Series 2. The biggest thing about Series 2, in my personal opinion, is going to be the new level cap. So typically the way EA's had the trend going is that Series 1 goes from 1 to 50, Series 2 goes from 50 to 60. 50 to 60 will typically be a decent grind. I mean, if you play solo challenges and you spam the same solo for like 7 hours straight, you could probably get it pretty easily. Although saying that isn't that easy, 7 hours straight in solo challenges. Mine, mind boggling, I mean, it, I, it gets to me, I start going insane after a while. But it is doable and I probably, will probably, I probably will do it just for the channel. Or at least try to. We'll see how that goes. Now... In series two, like I said, they'll be introducing new mutt levels, new typical objective rewards, new challenges, and the trophies are going to be a factor. Now, if you guys know in years past, typically when we went into a new promo or new currency or new training like last year, they would give you a ratio. So let's say you had snow currency like last year. If you guys know what that was, that was a Christmas currency. When it switched over from the Christmas promo to the next promo, you got like a percentage of that back. So trophies will be the same thing. So trophies in the top right corner is at 100 for me right now. But the way they're doing it is that those are series one trophies. I like the way they did it last year better where you had tokens as trophies because you wouldn't lose them. Now you will be losing trophies. So the way they're going to be doing it is that you're going to get half of the trophies you have going to series two. So instead of doing like last year where series one could only be used on series one and then series two could be used on two and lower. Now trophies can be used universally, but you will be losing quite a bit. So this is where the question comes what would you rather have now guys before i go into this entirely make sure to go down, down below give this video a big thumbs up boys if you're a loyal supporter best way to show support drop a like if your nfl team lost this week drop a like if they won this week drop a like let's get this video to 250 likes comment down below if you're excited for series two and make sure to hit the subscribe button boys we're so close to 8k maybe today could top us over the, put us over the top make sure to go down below smack the sub button hit the noti bell and boys let's finish this video now let's get back into it so like i was saying I have 100 trophies. So the way they're doing it is when Series 2 commences on Friday, September 20th, allegedly, they will be ratioing your trophies. So you have a I have 100 Series 1 trophies. You will be getting half back. So that will convert to 50 trophies. So for me, it's not really a big deal. I don't have many trophies. It is what it is. But for people who have, let's say, 2,000 trophies, you will only, you're going to lose 1,000, which is quite a bit with the way trophies work this year. So maybe you guys want to spend them because think about it i mean would you rather have a thousand series two trophies maybe because then you could probably get the brand new nat player right away but then again you're losing a lot so i mean you grind it for all those so maybe like you want to just get your von miller auctionable sell them off and then to regrind your trophies out there will be new ways to get trophies to the missions if you come over to series progression they will have series one multiplayer wins or first i should say series two so if you guys are close to finishing your 200 games i recommend you get going on that because at the moment once series two commences in about uh, I'd say about a week and a half about eight days if it does drop in the day it says it should drop you will lose all these objectives So like let's say you have 199 wins and you don't finish that 200 you will not get those 120 trophies now Also, you will be getting half so Would you guys rather just cash out and take all your trophies and get coins then for that case you can go over to store Go to competitive currency and go convert it 
So the best conversions for me, in my opinion, I mean, you could pop Wheel of Coins, you could open up some Red Zone packs, take the Quick Sells, or you can get the John Madden. You haven't gotten John Madden Coach and Collectible, I highly recommend you do that. So if you have the trophies, use them, because you will be losing them. And in my opinion, I don't want to lose a thousand trophies, that sounds dumb to me. But it's up to you guys, maybe pop a few 84 plus Elite Player packs. But again, that's it's up to you guys on what you'd rather do with the trophies. Now, what to prepare for? Typically, a new series drops power-ups, new solo challenges, new types of things. So if I had to predict, typically with a Series 2 update, they might be dropping a new journey. That's possible. They might wait for Series 3. They might drop the first gauntlet. We have not gotten a gauntlet yet. They typically drop gauntlets, so they could drop the gauntlet solo challenge, which are pretty much awesome solo challenges, typically. They drop your power-up card. So guys like, let's say, Lamar Jackson, Team of the Week, they might drop his power-up card. They drop things like that. New level challenges which I could care less for, but they might drop things like that too. They might just drop new base solo challenges, which I don't know yet because obviously I don't know what new things would be, so I can't really predict that. There will be pro uh, potentially new sets. Well, I can almost guarantee there'll be new sets. So we come over here, there will most likely be new sets for the Elite Exchange. I know that for a fact almost. So if you go over to Exchange Sets right now, there is ma it maxed at 87, 88. I imagine this new series will give you 88, I mean 89 to 90 uh, Elite Exchange. Elite player exchanges. Now, the good thing about that is that a lot of us got Nat cards that we might not like. So to show you guys what I mean, if they did drop an 89 to 90 exchange set that you could use, you could put 88, or if they dropped a 90 to 91, even better, because a lot of guys have Nat cards that they don't want. So let's say you got that free themed diamond card, like I have um, Corey Schlesinger. Let's say I didn't like him, or you guys got one like the wide receiver Verucius or whatever, and you don't like him, you could potentially take him, put him into that set, and you could turn that into a better player. So let's say it's an 88 um, or 89 player you have to exchange, let's just say. Let's say you got Zach Ertz from the, um, the Must Superstar thing, and you got Corey Schlesinger, and you don't like him, and then for your base elite, you took Jalen Ramsey, and you don't want him. You could toss all three in, potentially, and get yourself a nice 89-90 to 90 overall player, which is a benefit, because you can then sell that card, or you could keep it. So that's up to you. So that's a great way to exchange some of the cards that you might not have liked that you have gotten from packs. Now, with the new Series 2, I imagine prices will come down a little bit, because we will get a new Nat Master. Now, if you don't know what I mean by Nat Master, if you come over to the store's competitive currency again, we currently have Von Miller, but who could the next Nat Master be? I don't know. Last year, it was Telvin Smith, and I believe it was um, Justin Houston, and I forget who was after that, but Von Miller was an awesome one, so if they keep the bangers coming, maybe we get, like, a uh, Series 1 competitive Master. I can't even think. Maybe just Sean Watson. That'd be really cool. Maybe. I don't know if they do a position like that, though. I can't really think what they would drop, potentially. Maybe a cornerback. Maybe a defensive lineman. I couldn't really tell you guys. But the potential for it is really, really cool. So if I had to guess, I'd say that you want your trophies for that. And then they probably will be releasing more Coach Madden collectibles. I only got one so far, so I will be quite behind. I have to catch up on trophies, definitely. I did skip this weekend league, so I'm going to be a little behind on that. Now, the Mutt level grind to 50 to 60, what they will be releasing at, six, at the 60th level. I know for a fact we will be getting, I believe, another power pass. Now, our currently highest overall power pass that we have gotten is an 87 to an 88 overall power pass so that got you guys like um von miller khalil mack jalen ramsey aaron donald now if they drop an 89 to 90 that means you can power pass any 89 to 90 overall card in the game so that means like a steve young a steve young 90 if he's 90 yes you could power pass him you could power pass a lot of guys odell beckham jr a lot of cool cards so you're gonna pretty much get a power pass that guarantees you a card that goes for at least 200k depending on what you pick at minimum now also between 50 to 60 we'll be getting packs in the store for uh for money obviously but typically you get level packs and if you guys don't know the level packs are pretty good this year so they guaranteed you one platinum card in every level of pack that you got so I've, it ended with getting like 84 overall power players i mean my bad 84 overall quick sell players sorry platinum players and they quick sold for 80k so i imagine this time we're gonna get like 86s and maybe even 87s maybe probably 85 86 87 at the max so if we do get three power packs for level ups among 50 to 60 if we got those i believe we'll probably get like 600k 700k worth of power which is not i mean platinum cards which is not bad at all that is a great value for a few bucks you'll get a power pass you'll probably get maybe an elite player pack maybe a, a team of the week pack you'll get something pretty cool and potentially at level 60 you could get like a full legend pack again or something cool like that which all it all remains to be seen but that kind of does wrap up the majority of what you can expect from series two uh, like the, the most important things obviously they probably will update some of the packs in the stores the heavyweights the flashbacks and the veteran packs update some of that stuff maybe a new little look here and there some new interface on some things but for the most part you pretty much want to be focused on level you power players power pass and level packs that's kind of like the basis of what you're going to be expecting and then also we will most likely be getting new Tory hole upgrades 
typically that's what is that's what we get maybe not in series two maybe series three but if we do get Tory Holt upgrades I'd have to suspect that he goes to 93 because he did, get, he did give us a 90 off the rip which was like two overalls higher than any of the best overall cards in the game I'd imagine they let him get into a 92 which would probably look at him having like a 92 speed maybe route running above 90 on everything except deep his spec cash would be more like an 85 and his jumping might go to like an 88 so that car will be insane he'll have the catching threshold the short route running threshold the medium route running threshold and he'll come pretty close to the deep route running but he might not quite get there but as a whole this card should get better and same with our shazier i believe our shazier might be allowed to get maybe two more upgrades too so shazier and tory holt might be getting upgrades i could be wrong maybe they wait for series three but you gotta be on the lookout for that too those are gonna be the most important things guys and remember kickoff does drop today i believe at approximately 10 30 so Stay on the lookout for that. You don't want to miss out on that. The first big promo of the year, in my opinion, because obviously Superstars and this other stuff wasn't like promos. Kickoff's like the first big promo that starts. It's kind of like a short promo. And then the first real main promo for me, it's going to be Mutt Heroes and then obviously the October promo. But guys, that is it for the video. If you guys have any other feedback on things I might have not covered in the video, comment them down below so you can help out other people and also help me out understand anything I might have missed. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 250 likes. Don't forget to turn on the noti bell. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 8K, boys. That's out. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.